Hello, it's Clorinda here, HubSpot strategist at BBD Boom. And in this video, I've got a very exciting product update for you regarding multi-step forms. So the HubSpot forms is has now got a multi-step version and it's currently in public beta. So if you don't have access to it, just make sure you get a super admin to opt it in for you um, through the product updates tool. But basically, this is what it looks like. So you can see this actually in this template that it's produced got multiple steps within the form um, you can add more steps as well if you like and basically this allows you to break down specific fields inputs into multiple pages which um, would then hopefully improve your conversion rates so if you've got a form that's got I don't know like 10 fields it's much easier for someone to fill it in when you kind of feed it in slowly so this is why multi-step forms can be very useful um, and along with that you also do have the ability to now have additional styling options so you notice the user interface of the form builder is quite different now so just walking through this quickly um, if i click the plus button here you can choose the forms and fields um, if you are creating a, a blank field like a brand new property basically you can add them in here um, and the interesting thing is here if you've created a new field and field and um, you want to then replace this with an existing property, you can actually do that as well, which is quite interesting. Um, if you want to kind of pick from a list of properties that already exist in HubSpot, you can find them here. And then in other is where you would add your kind of um, images, text, and then the kind of spam capture and GDPR compliance tools as you can see here. Um, so the actual editing of the form is the same. It's the user interface is quite different. You do have additional styling options though. So um, these ones that you're seeing on the left are pretty standard, but what you can also now do is you can actually design in the layout, like the, you know, how adding images and moving different bits around here, which is quite cool. So it's kind of almost like building a landing page or an email in HubSpot now. Um, which I do really like. Um, the only thing I do find a bit weird is having to kind of scroll up and down within one step um, in the builder. So that's a bit strange to me, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. So you've got these logic tools as well. And um, I know there's actually a separate update about validation rules that are now kind of live as someone submits a form, which is quite cool, but I won't cover that in this video. Um, the other thing that seems to be new is the optimization tool. So, you know, in Content Hub, like the landing pages, the blogs, you'll find optimization tools there for SEO. It looks like they've now also moved this across the forms, which is really interesting. Um, so, yeah, multi steps to increase conversions, alt text for your images. So, it looks like primarily it's for images and then just like spam capture. So, it's not really necessarily completely SEO optimization, but more just form optimization. So looking forward to see those tools and optimization tools introduced in other features of HubSpot as well. Everything else that I've seen so far is pretty standard. So it's really just getting used to the interface. Um, same thing if you want to share, you've got the embed and the share link, but once again, it just looks a little bit different. And then you've got their preview link as well. So if I go over there, um, it will take me to what my form will look like if someone were to submit it. So anyway, um, have a play around with these steps. If you are trying the tool for the first time, HubSpot does give you kind of a wizard tutorial to play with as well. So have a play around with that and let me know what you think.